Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. <laughs> Feels like deja vu to me because I'm doing something I tried to do yesterday but failed. And I am taking the wheels off my Betsy. I failed yesterday at the first hurdle because it's got all these funky, non standard spline bolts. They're all the same. They're not, they're not locking wheel nuts. They're all just weird. I've not seen those before. Ten spoke splines. I did a post on Instagram. Um, again, they're some, they're non-standard bolts, basically. So I, I bought the adapter on eBay for a fiver. It turned up the next day, which is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I can get the bolts off now, the nuts. So, um, why am I taking the wheels off my car? I want to just have a look. We want to do a few things. I've got to play around with polishing this alloy properly. I did a video on it a while back, but I was going to go around and do them all, and I didn't because I ran out of time, and I didn't do a particularly good job on this. So we're going to clean off the alloy wheel properly, inside and out. We're going to wipe it over with polish, metal polish, and wire wool a bit more aggressively to try and get off the little tarnishing bits. Then we'll polish it up and see. And I'll probably cut a little hole out of a little spot pad, try and polish over the top of all of these, and I'll end up filling all the bolts with polish. So I'll pressure wash the polish off um, before it dries. <laughs> it's the only way I think can think to do it. You could probably tape around each bolt or nut, or you could take it apart could take it apart but from experience playing around with these undoing these bolts isn't always a good idea <laughs> um so i'm just going to do my best and leave them on there i also want to have a look inside the arches let's just do that while you're here i was just looking underneath the car yesterday and it's pretty decent actually really you need it up on ramps but from what i can see the car's not too bad underneath, you know, it's not all rusted out and all that sort of stuff. It looks like it's been under sealed at some point, so it's okay. Um, just bring this camera around. We've got no, these brakes are, are fine. There's no lip on them. There's plenty on there. They're good discs, nothing wrong with those. A bit dirty, obviously, but our heat shield is got some surface oxidization on it which will probably eventually rust out depending on what it's made of let's have a look at the springs that works pretty de decent nick so these are all fully adjustable i'm worried these springs are not installed correctly one of you guys spotted it it's the what the top mount adjust the top mount adjust here at the top top of the uh where the shock's mounted is facing the wrong way so like the camera adjusts normally would go that way and then you can get it where you like but like the line goes that way <laughs> so i don't think they've been installed correctly i don't think it's a major problem but you can't you wouldn't be able to adjust you know this that way or that way um well, it's pretty good in here. That's really good. That's what I wanted to see as well. The brake lines are not rusted out. So what I want to do is probably clean that off a little bit. That's in good shape. Yeah. I mean, the problem is a big layer of dirt and grime in here. This will all clean up. So I'm looking forward to the summer. And just sort of look at all these plastics you know this never gets this is a job that's probably never ever been done in you know in 22 years of, of this car you know these being properly cleaned and scrubbed right the way back to clean plastic but i'm pleased with the general state of the car actually those just looking at the lower control arms there's no play this front suspension's all decent so going back to that alloy wheel the 
This should come up nicely. The thing I'm worried about is the insides. Look at this. Look at that. That's crusty as hell, that is. Seems like a lacquer. It's, it's going on the inside section of this. That's lacquer. Hold on a second. So, is that paint? Something. That's paint. Well, the surface of that is coming apart. So I thought this was a bare metal finish. So why is that all rotten on that inside? Best guess. Don't know. But it's got some material on it, and obviously on this side, Another bare metal finish. Yeah, is that literally the the layer coming off the top? Does that need to be all stripped down and re-chromed? Or, or do you just not worry about this because you can't see it? <laughs> that's that's where this car's showing its age, isn't it? They look good from the outside, but because you can't get in there and clean them, that shows you what embedded brake dust that's not clean does to a surface. So yeah, bit of a shame. Anyway, let's clean this off and we'll see what happens. Clear coat on those. It's clear coat. Yeah. Clear coat. Okay guys, it's starting to rain. <laughs> it's raining. So just using the auto sole and some wire wool has really cleaned it up and got the tarnishing off. And it's cleaning out all of here as well, but the problem is just in all these little gaps. So I was saying I didn't want to take the bolts off, but I think really, if you want to clean all this properly, all these bolts would have to come off. 
then you can access it and get it all cleaned but it's done a really good job I should do exactly the same thing on all of these four alloys but I'm not going to get a chance today because it's going to hammer it down in a second <laughs> same as last time but I've learned that um, that we can get these alloys looking nice apart from the exception of these in, inside barrels which are just hammered <laughs> I'm not even going to try and keep cleaning that it's not it's pointless what's the point all the finish all the paint I think it's been painted it's just bubbling up underneath and it needs to be refinished I think it's a three piece split rim so we've got the proper metal finish on one part the painted finish on the middle and then painted finish on that middle section um, so it's really are we really worried about the inner section well no but we don't want it that bad so at some point these are going to need to go to a, a wheel specialist place to have them sorted out properly and they're going to be a real pain to maintain but they are a lovely looking alloy wheel so i'm gonna end it <laughs> get everything back inside get this wheel back on before it absolutely hammers it down um thank you for watching guys let me know your thoughts but it's a no-brainer isn't it they need to be refinished um take care see you soon Thank <laughs> you.